All right, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the oil pump gears installed. Um, these are from Boundary. Believe it or not, all the oil pump gears are the same. From These are not the uh, the new version. Um, well, they might be. I don't know. They're pretty, pretty shiny. Anyway, um, I'm going to get these installed. I'm going to, I was going to put this on the motor stand, but I might as well just leave it on the crate. It's going to be much easier to put right back in the, in the bed of my truck whenever it's time to go. And, um, um, but it, it is going to be a little bit more difficult to get the oil pan off, but this thing, dude, these things are so light. I mean, literally picking it up one hand, it's, I'm sure I can figure out a way to manipulate it, uh, to get the oil pump off, but I'm going to get started on that. Um, and I will set you up on the tripod. All right. I changed my mind. Um, I'm actually gonna, I actually, well, if you could see it's already on the engine stand, a uh, big shout out to my wife and kids for helping me come out here, uh, at, you know, nine 30 at night to put this thing on here. I couldn't do it by myself. So I'm going to get the oil pan off and, uh, do the oil pump gears. All right. On the oil pump, these are, uh, uh, T30 to take the back of it off. And uh, honestly, the, this isn't rocket science. This is fairly straightforward. As nerve wracking as it is, and I'm sitting here playing games with a brand new engine, who would I be? Would I be me if I didn't? You know? My bad, y'all. My uh, SD card was full. So uh, I had to delete some old stuff that, uh, I didn't need anymore and uh my bad so i'm back i mean you didn't really miss nothing I just, all i did was take these little uh torx bits uh screws out um here is the stock oil pump gears And you see they're all nice and shiny this is a brand new short block so there will be no, there is nowhere on anything that's that's uh in here right now sorry i'm fascinated i'm sitting there just playing with things but anyway i'm i'm not gonna um i don't know let me know if you want me uh, in the comment section below, if you want me to do the uh, drop test on these or not, let me know. I wasn't planning on it, but because everybody else has already done it. But uh, anyway, basically, there it is. That's, just, that's what you got, what you're playing with. And uh, I'm going to get my little uh, oil pump squirter thingamajiggy. And we'll shit those and get in there. Where are they? Oh, here it is. Get these uh get these new uh boundary oil pump gears installed. The oil pump is assembled, torqued all the bolts down to 89 inch pounds. Uh all there's left to do is install it back onto the uh short block. And I think it's worth noting that this is the hardware that just came off the new engine right here. And the timing kit that I bought from Ford Racing actually from uh, uh, Go Hide Racing, uh, a Ford, Ford Racing uh, product though, uh, comes with all new hardware. See there's the, the studs and everything like that. So these are torque deal bolts. Um, you know you're not really supposed to reuse torque deal bolts, but you know, a lot of people do. A lot of things they're not supposed to do. Just uh, figured I'd worth, you know, be worth mentioning. All right, I flip this back around that way I don't screw up working on it upside down, uh, but I put these bolts back in um, A, B, C, and D, and they have to be put. They have to be tightened up a certain way. A is um, eighty nine, yeah, eighty nine inch pounds. Yeah, 
89 inch pounds, um, 18 foot pounds, 89 inch pounds, uh, 177 inch pounds. And after I torque them down, they have to be turned at a, uh, a certain degree. Uh, this one is a uh, 45 degree, 75 degrees, 45 degrees, and an additional 80 degrees. So what basically what I'm saying is once you once you tighten them down, once you torque them to spec, you have to basically pretend like you have a uh, um an angle like a you know what I'm saying like a, a angle or a compass or whatever, and you have to. Uh, tighten them an additional degree so uh, I'm gonna get on that I'm not, I'm not even gonna board you with it <laughs> all right here's the boundary crank sprocket that I'm using um, <clears throat> since this is gonna be for uh, a, a basically a gen 1 car base when I'm saying that I'm using gen 1 timing components so I'm using a gen 1 uh, crank sprocket so I know I know that there visually there's not much of a difference between the Gen 1 and Gen 2. I think the Gen 2 and Gen 3 crank sprocket, sprocket is the same, but all in all this it, it's not uh, the, the, they're all not the, uh, the the Gen 1 and the Gen 2 Gen 3 is not the same. So um <sighs> I'm good this is not going to be fun. I can already tell you it's actually going to be really scary because uh, I've already tried to put it on one time and it was uh not really wanting to fit so I'm going to um, I'm probably gonna do this off camera because I'm probably gonna get really annoyed and scared and I'm probably gonna cuss a lot so uh, I don't really got want you guys to see that now the next step is going to be installing these uh, dowel pins uh, I have four of them they go up here in the top corners of each uh, each bank um, and then after I install the dowel pins I will be uh, cleaning the surface to make sure that there is no problem with the uh, the head gasket and everything. Install the head gasket and then get the heads on. I'm installing the head gaskets if you can't tell. and. Um, these are Gen 2 head gaskets. These are the head gaskets that you want to use um, if you're using a uh, Gen 3 block. And Gen 2 heads and seem to be the only mystery around it for me. I got multiple different answers, but uh, this is the definitely the head gaskets that you need to use if you're building a 321.